Hey, you bot nerds. This is Pat with Brain Trust Interactive, and uh, I want to show you a really cool tool that we've developed for you for um, some of your messenger marketing. So if you have been in the uh, messenger groups and chatbot groups in the last few days, you'll see a lot of people posting about um, messenger scan codes going away. And you might not care. Uh, you know, I might say, what are messenger scan codes? Well, basically, they're kind of the... Uh, a good way to get people into your bots, especially if they're in a physical location, like at a store. Um, it, messenger scan codes are very much like QR codes, where Messenger can scan that code and it can take you into a portion of your bot, which was really cool because uh, the Messenger app w uh, did the same thing for scanning QR codes on every single platform. So if you had an Android or an iPhone, uh, you could scan codes. Whereas um, with QR codes, uh, most Android phones right now do not support scanning QR codes without the aid of a third-party app. And uh, iPhones can uh, natively scan QR codes with the camera. For whatever reason, Android does not. So uh, now you have to have an app uh, aside from uh, Facebook Messenger uh, to scan the codes. So uh, this is happening in uh, August 15th. You can see here it says starting August 15th the messenger camera will no longer support scanning messenger codes. So as a result, uh, all the chatbot groups uh, look like this. Everybody's panicked, everybody's freaking out, uh, everybody has opinions on it. Personally, I think Facebook is screwing up big time because, um, well, uh, they're, they're basically alienating over 50% of the market that has Android phones, right? So what do we do? Well, there's not a whole lot you can do except convert to uh, QR codes to get your customers and your clients into your messenger bot. So where do you get a QR code? Well, there are a lot of cool little QR code tools all over the net and everything, um, but we've built one specifically for you for chatbots, and it makes it, a, uh, it's basically a very, very easy tool to use. So introducing the Brain Trust Interactive Chatbot QR Code Thingy uh, trademark, by the way. All right, so what does this tool do? It looks really simple. Um, it's simple enough, but uh, how do you get a QR code built, and then how do I get people into my bot? So what this does is uh, is just takes your your ref URL, and uh, you paste it in there. And after a little bit of editing, you can create yourself a really cool QR code that you can use in your uh, your business cards, on your table tents for restaurants, or on product listings anywhere else that you would uh, you know use a normal messenger scan code to get people into your uh, bot. So let's go and grab a, uh, a QR code or a, a ref URL and I'll show you how it works. So you go over here to uh, the growth tools and I've got a bunch of uh, widgets already built out here. So um, I want to get people into my loyalty program. So I'm going to grab this ref URL here. And if you don't know what a ref URL is or a ref URL a, a widget in ManyChat, you can go to ManyChat and go through their tutorials. They show you how to use this. So I'm going to grab the, uh, the link here like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm just going to paste it. And once I've pasted it, if you click out of that, you'll see it automatically generates a QR code. Now, that's... Basically, you could download this right now and immediately use it. However, let's kind of amp this up a little bit. So uh, the margins are uh, basically uh, how much room you want to leave around the QR code. So like that, I'm going to use, let's go back and use, say, 40 like that. And that makes it nice. It gives you a nice uh, wide margin. So you can paste that uh, the QR code somewhere, and it gives you a, nice, a good amount of space around it so the camera can focus on it. Um, the error correction is uh, basically it's it's a uh, if you have it high quality you see all the little dots and, and squares and everything like that. If you put it low quality, um, you can make it a lot simpler, uh, but it does have a bigger chance of not uh, the camera has a bigger chance of not actually being able to read the data. So I like uh, I like high quality um, QR codes. They're they're pretty decent. They're uh, they're good. All right. Um, the QR size. This is obviously uh, what size you want to make it. Let's make it a thousand by a thousand. Uh, or you know, if you were going to print something, if you're going to put it on a business card, you know, you could set it just about any size you want. But um, 500 by 500 is pretty decent size. It's it's uh, once it downloads. So 
the background is obviously white. I can set this to red like that. Let's just set that to red. And then I could set the foreground to white. And so this allows you to customize the QR code for your uh, for your client or, or for you know your particular product or your color scheme if you want to put it on your website or or on a a, a product uh, or you know table tent whatever you want to do so um, just make sure that you have enough um, of uh, enough contrast between the background and the foreground to actually uh, be able to read the uh, the QR code. Now, if you want to test it before you download it, that's probably a good idea. On an iPhone, all you need to do is point the camera at it and it should be able to read it and pull up your link. If you're on an Android phone, I suggest you download Google Lens and you can go to the uh, play.google.com like this and you can search for Google Lens and just install it. You can see I've already got it installed here. So Google Lens will be able to focus on the uh, QR code and be able to read it and then you can actually click on it and then browse to it and it will open up Messenger. Uh, another feature here that we've got is you can actually make the background transparent and since it's transparent you you know the QR code uh, the foreground is white so it looks like there's nothing there but let's say uh, we make it red like that. So now the uh, the background is actually transparent and the foreground is red. So I'm just going to go ahead and download the code. It will download to your computer. And let's go over here and show you what it looks like once you load it up. So once you click on it, it pulls up a 500 by 500 QR code. You can uh, actually scan that with your phone and uh, then you can use it in anything else you want as far as your marketing and people will be able to scan that and get right into messenger so the link to the tool is in the uh is in the comments and you can uh, just use this at will and um you know enjoy with the qr codes and uh, don't freak out messenger is going to be okay all right have a good day